welcome back guys, General Tony here, your host, and welcome back my friends to a brand new episode on the channel. Today we are going to be trying something absolutely insane. A couple of weeks ago we tried a new attack strategy after we gemmed the brand new healers to max level 5. We tried Immortal Hog Riders guys, and to my surprise, it actually seemed to work. So what we're going to do right now in this episode, we are officially pushing back into the Legends League. And we are trying to 3 star as many Town Hall 11 bases as possible. And check out this attack strategy guys. We are going to be using right now in this episode. 20 max level 7 Hog Riders. 8 Bowlers. 2 Baby Dragons. 4 Healers. Some Wall Breakers. Some Archers. 2 Heal Spells. 2 Rage, a Jump and a Poison. And of course our Heroes. And this is the Immortal Hog Riders. But we're going to try and 3 star a Town Hall 11 base. So of course guys, I've decided to use Hog Riders because they are actually my favourite ground troop in the game. My favourite air troop is, I would say, Baby Dragons or Balloons, I'm not really sure. But I've gone with Hog Riders because they're awesome, they're unique, and hopefully we can actually crush a Town Hall 11 using them. Because as I said, we are trying to get back into the Legends League. Now the only question I have for you guys, my subscribers who've made it this far into the episode, which ground troop should we try with healers next once we hit 4,500 trophies? Currently sitting at... 3800 so we're going to push up using this strategy for a couple of hundred trophies and then we're going to try and change it up a little bit so let me know down below in that comment section guys which troop should we make an immortal strategy with next should we try miners maybe bowlers maybe even the level six packers let me know down below but we're not going to waste any more time we're going to get ourselves into this live attack so we are looking for gold and we're also looking for trophies we need gold to max out our town all 11 and we need trophies because we are pushing up, guys. So check it out. Perfect. We've landed straight on a Town Hall 10 with two single target Inferno Towers. Now the trick to using Immortal Hog Riders is to actually try and funnel correctly. So what we're going to do, we're going to open up this part of the base, the bottom part of the base, guys, using some wall breakers. And we're going to try and get a baby dragon in here as well just to take out a couple of these buildings and actually create a funnel for us. So we're going to take out this Archer Tower using a Baby Dragon, and then we're going to go in with a Barbarian King to funnel in the rest of those buildings, and maybe a couple of Bowlers. So here we go. Baby Dragon is about to take out this cannon. Hopefully it's going to go down before the Baby Dragon dies, and we can go in with our Barbarian King, four Bowlers, and we're going to send in three Wall Breakers, guys. I'm hoping they're going to actually break into the second compartment, and they just about do. We need a couple of shots on that wall and we're through. Okay, so here we go. Oh, Barbarian King is going to be a, a little bit of a bugger and go around. But that's cool. That's absolutely cool, guys. So just whilst we're waiting for the Barbarian King to clean up, do not forget, we are doing a 2 million subscriber giveaway on the channel. We are approaching 2 million subscribers. If you want the chance to win a free $50 gift card, all you need to do to enter is leave a like on the video to get some good luck guys, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel, that is it, leave a like, subscribe and stay tuned, as soon as we hit 2 million subs, we're going to do a huge giveaway. Okay, so now we've got a funnel down the bottom, we also want to make a funnel up the top, taking out this Archer Tower, so we're going to start off by using the actual Archer Queen, Bowler's going to go in just behind and we're pretty much just going to take out all these buildings here guys, we're going to allow the Queen to do her job, so now what we're going to do, we're going to come in with two sets of Hog Riders, 10 Hog Riders in each group. And we're going to drop in two healers behind each one and the Grand Warden right into the middle. We're going to go with a Rage Spell, guys, and we're going to drop a Jump Spell in for the Archer Queen. So here we go. Let's roll out. Let's see what kind of damage we can do. There goes the Grand Warden's ability. We've got a Heal Spell and a Rage Spell into the center of the base, guys. We're going to drop down this Poison Spell as well to try and kill as many Larrys as possible. And we're going to go in with a final Heal Spell. So we pretty much got... The majority of the Hog Riders in the center of this base now rampaging their way through. And you can see the strategy itself works pretty damn well, guys. Still got plenty of Hog Riders left alive. Now we just need to do a cleanup. So let's go in with a Baby Dragon. Drop in the Archers and let's try and get at least a 2-star on this Town Hall 10. But I'm trying to get a triple. I'm hoping for a 3-star. Let's see. We got 35 seconds, guys. Been a bit of a slow attack, but we've still got enough time. To actually take out this dude's base for a triple. Here we go. 28 seconds remaining. Hog Ride is still up and alive. And uh, they haven't yet taken out the defending queen. So hopefully they're going to grab her now. Here we go. Level 7 Hog Riders. Going to bash that level 20 queen into her grave. Second star has been achieved guys. 84. 85%. We are climbing. But I do not think we have enough time. 
Looks like it's going to be a close one. Double giant big bomb. All my hawk riders managed to survive. And it looks like it's going to be a 90. Oh, damn. Damn, that was unlucky, guys. 91% two star. But we tried. We tried our best, guys. But we're going to try it again. We're going to see if we can actually perfect this. So we did get some trophies there. That's cool. That sent us over 3,800 trophies. Let's create another strategy. I'm going to go with four healers. 20 hog riders once again. I don't really need more than 20 hogs. This time, let's bring let's bring six wall breakers, two baby dragons again, guys. I like bowlers. Bowlers are cool. So we're going to go with eight bowlers. And uh, we're going to use a minion and two archers this time, just in case we can create a better funnel. Spells, we're going to go two hill spells, two jump spells. Sorry, two rage spells. A poison. And we're not going to use a jump spell this time. Instead... We're going to use a free spell for an Inferno Tower, guys. Because I think we're going to be taking on a Town Hall 11. And they do have level 5 Inferno Towers. So, we're going to gem ourselves the Grand Warden. He's going to be backing up the Hog Riders. Barbarian King and the Archer Queen are going to go together this time. And hopefully create a better funnel. So, spells, heroes, troops ready. Let's roll out, guys. Let's roll out. If you made it this far into the episode, don't forget to let me know down below in that comment section. Which truth... Should we try to make an immortal actual army with next? Let me know, guys. But let's keep searching. We're going to look for... That was kind of like a little bit of trophies. I think we got, what was it, 16 trophies from that battle. This time, we're going to look for maybe a little bit of gold, guys. So stay tuned. We'll be back in a couple of moments' time once we land on a decent base. Oh, wait. Here we go. Okay, 300,000 gold. Not bad. Not bad at all, and he's got four, um, four air defenses in the middle. That means we could create a funnel using these baby dragons, guys. So let's take a look at this base. What I want to do, I want to make a funnel on the right, and I want to make a funnel here where the wizard tower is. And I'm going to be sending in the heroes here, because I want to take out the eagle artillery using the heroes. So what we're going to do, baby dragon's going to go down. That's going to take out the Elixir Collector, the Army Camp, and possibly grab this Archer Tower, guys. Will we get the Archer Tower? I'm hoping it's going to go down. Here we go. If it goes down, we might also grab a couple more buildings. Yes, we do. So that is the perfect start. Great. Okay, so now we're going to drop in all these wall breakers. We're going to keep one back just in case, but we're through. Drop in the final one as well, just for fun. And we've done it, guys. Okay, so we're going to take out this Collector using a Minion. And now the heroes are going to go into the base and move towards the left-hand side where they will actually take on the uh, the Eagle Artillery. So let's go four of those bowlers. Move in with the Barbarian King, the Archer Queen, and the other four bowlers. Let's get these troops going into the base, guys. We're going to save all the spells. Two heal spells, two rage spells, and of course the free spell for my piggies. But let's do this, guys. So there goes the Barbarian King's ability. Let's get the second funnel started. We're going to be dropping in the baby dragon there. And then the hog riders, once again, going to come in in two funnels, guys. We're going to go in with two sets of ten. There goes the healers. There goes the Grand Warden. And we're going to use the first rage spell, guys. So here we go. Grand Warden backing up my piggies. Going to use a heal spell. There goes the Grand Warden's ability just about keeping those uh, those piggies alive. Free spell goes down on the, uh, the single target Inferno Tower. Rage spell. Goes down onto the other hog riders. I don't know if this is uh, this is looking kind of messy. Looking maybe a little bit too messy, guys. Heal spell trying to keep those pigs alive. We're up to a one star. Gonna drop down a poison on those uh, defending Larrys there. They're kind of annoying. And um, I don't know what happened to my hog riders. We seem to have kind of dispersed and just lost them. I think I used the Grand Warden's ability way too late. It looks like it's gonna be a 70% loot bonus though. Definitely a high attack, guys, in terms of percent. But... We haven't secured the second star, and the town hall's kind of far away, but check this out. We've taken out both Inferno Towers, and we've also taken out the Eagle Artillery. This looks like it's going to be a three-star if we had enough time, because we have a really cool Queen Walk going around with the Grand Warden, guys, and there's not really anything to stop us. I mean, they've got an Expo set to ground, but apart from that, it's pretty much game over for this dude, but there's only 40 seconds left in the battle, and of course, that's going to cause a huge problem, guys, but here we go. Queen, still alive. We don't have a rage spell. That's kind of unfortunate, guys. But we are doing some serious damage. We're going to have to use a Queen's Ability soon, guys. We're running out of time. Let's just grab that Elixir Storage. There goes a the Queen's Ability. She's going to take out these defenses so quickly and go back up to max hit points if the healers go back onto her. Currently healing up the Grand Warden, guys. But that's cool. And it looks like it's going to be another 90-ish percent one star 
damn. Two raids in a row, guys, where we got close to a triple, but didn't quite manage to do it. The cleanup just doesn't seem to be there. Queen gonna take out the Expo just about and grab us a 90% total damage. Extremely unlucky. Did get a great loot bonus, though, guys, and we're gonna try it for a final time. So maybe we need to uh, slightly change the strategy. So go into Quick Train. We're gonna train up the army. We're going to remove... What should we do? What should we do? What should we do? Let's remove... You know what, guys? Let's remove these bowlers. Let's bring a Pekka. And let's bring... Let's remove all bowlers. Let's bring four balloons, a Pekka, an extra minion, and an archer. Strange attack strategy. I know, looks weird. But we're going to do this. We're going to gem up the heroes once again, and we're going to do the final live attack. If you've made it this far into the episode, leave a like on the video, guys, to show me how far you've made it. And, of course, thank you for all the constant support. But let's see if we can grab some more trophies. We're going to see if we can take on a very kind of simple base. I was going to say simple, but that looks so complex, guys. Let's take on one a little bit easier. I do want to triple. Okay, here we go. 17 trophies. Not the best, but not the worst. And they've got four air defenses kind of centralized. That's great for me, guys. Baby Dragon's going to create a funnel on the left-hand side. Over on the right, we're going to use the second Baby Dragon. And then we're going to try and actually take out the Inferno Tower and the Eagle Artillery using the Heroes, guys. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to work. Baby Dragon's going to take out that Gold Collector, so that's awesome. Can we also grab the Cannon if we can? That is an absolute bonus. It goes down... Wow, okay, so, great start. Minion, gonna take out... Oh, damn, we're in range of the Expo. Okay, that's cool, guys, not a problem, not a problem. Okay, so, we got four balloons. What are we gonna do with these? What are we gonna do with these balloons? I'm gonna use two to take out that cannon. I don't want my hog riders going, of course. And we're gonna use two to take out that archer tower, guys. Now... The reason why we've done that is because we're going to use the uh, the minion, I'm hoping, to actually clear these other buildings. Let's do this, guys. Here we go. Archer Tower's down. Cannon's down. And now we're going to use the Pekka here to clear and make a funnel. The Barbarian King up the top and the Archer Queen over on this side over here. And I'm hoping they're going to go down into this section and actually take out the Eagle Artillery and also take out the Inferno Tower, guys. Will it work? Let's find out. Pekka making a beautiful funnel. There is only... 1 minute and 40 seconds, guys. So we're going to pop that Barbarian King's ability. We want to get these troops moving into the base as quickly as we can. And we're going to send in the Hog Riders, guys. So here we go. Hog Riders going to go in. Grand Warden going in just behind. Now, I know I've dropped the, um, the Hog Riders and the Heroes down in the same area, guys. But it was kind of needed. There goes the Grand Warden's ability. Let's see if we can actually take out Free Spell onto the second Inferno Tower. Heal Spell goes down into the middle. First Inferno Tower's out, guys. It looks like the Hog Riders have taken out the second Inferno Tower as well. And there goes the Eagle Artillery. So it's looking much better this time. There goes the Town Hall. Two Star has been secured. The Archer Queen still has her ability up and alive. Loads of Hog Riders now coming over to the Bomb Tower. Where they're going to get crushed, guys. But they still managed to take it out. There goes the Mortar. And it is a really great attack. We didn't even need those Wall Breakers. Kind of wasted 12 housing spaces. But that's cool as well. Let's see if we can get some extra percent taking out these Builders Huts down the bottom. And once again, guys, it comes down to time. Check it out. Double Giant Big Bomb, but it does nothing to my Queen. It looks like it's honestly going to be another 90%. So the question is, can we kind of, you know, alter the attack strategy so that we can triple star a base in the time that we require to do so? Obviously, guys, we're up to 82% so far. There isn't a single building in this base which is going to stop my attack. This would have been another three star. Literally, time is a serious issue when using these uh, these immortal hog riders. Would you believe it? It looks like it's going to be 90% for the third time in a row. Can we get 90? Let's find out, guys. Here we go. There goes the Archer Tower. Oh, 89%. 89. What a great attack, though, guys. And this is where we are going to end the episode. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Let me know down below in that comment section which troop should go immortal next. Have a great weekend, guys. I'll see you soon. Peace out.